Today's subject, Australians are the most ancient civilization on earth. DNA confirms their origins date back to more than 50,000 years ago, which is a real kick in the bollocks for all you Bible lovers who think the earth is 6,000 years old. But yeah, like, why would God lie? Because it's bullshit. Like my mum always says, just because it says Goodyear on tires doesn't mean it's been one. Now put on some National Geographic, Stop going on about Jesus. He was just a guy that could speak clearly and do a few car tricks. If Darren Brown was alive back then, we'd all be praying to him these days. Because the reality is, scientists have traced back clues left in our DNA, which suggests our ancestors are ancient explorers who traveled the world. How does that sit with all you Bible folk? Knowing civilization owes thanks to some Australians who took a gap year 50,000 years ago. Just because I come from a land down under, doesn't mean I want to stay here. And this is how new languages and STDs spread across the continent. A couple of Aussies come into the village, teach a few sentences, have a bit of sex, and then they're on the way. I love the idea of a couple of Australians visiting what turned out to be Wales. Just leaving behind them a few Welsh villagers that are not sure what's happened. Hey Brian, I've got something to tell you mate. You'll never guess what's happened to our Gwen. What mate? What's happened to Gwen? She's pregnant. She's bloody what? She's pregnant. And the Aussie guy's a father. You're bloody joking. And she's bloody keeping it. Well, I expect so, because uh, abortion's not really a thing yet. And we've only just got our heads around fire. But I can't stay, I've got to go. Because uh, I'm working on this new idea called The Wheel. 